we're here in February and the water's a little chilly but it's it's all right <laughs> that, that, part, that part was chilly but the rest of me is all right so even in February you can come in here and you can jump in the water in Sombrero Beach and uh, oh yeah that's cold but not too cold not too cold Ace you can do it I can do it Welcome to Sombrero Beach. We're at Sombrero Beach in Marathon, Florida. It's a pretty popular beach here. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff for families. It's got a playground back there. It's got a good changing room and bathroom. Uh, and it, the sand is nice and soft. It's not too chunky with shells or anything like that. But uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice here. It's a free beach. You don't have to pay to get here. You just park along the side of the road. Uh, there's pretty good parking here. Uh, you get on there and then you walk over a little bridge and you're at the beach. It's pretty easy. Yep, two. Okay, all right. Show me third in this box. Cool. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Welcome to Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. So Fort Zachary Taylor uh, State Park, it's a little bit more rough out here, so you can see the waves, than like Sombrero Beach. And there's a little more rocks and shells on the beach, so maybe you want some water shoes, some sandals for here, but it's a beautiful beach. So I swam out here to these rocks with these seagulls on it, it's pretty cool, but as you can see, it's pretty rocky and pretty rough. It might just be the day, but last time we were here, it was pretty rocky and rough sea also. So I don't know, both times we've been here, it's been like this, but I like it. I think it's fun like that. And I think it's cool out here with the seagulls. So the sand at Smathers Beach is super soft. This is like really nice sand. Oh, hi. Welcome to Smathers Beach. We're here about 8.30 a.m. So it looks like they just got done grooming the beach and that there's not a lot of crowds here yet. So it's kind of nice, but uh, this is one of the most popular beaches in Key West. I can see why. An example of the sand here. Almost feels like brown sugar consistency. If that makes any sense. All right, we're entering the beach. We're entering the ocean. And it's, like I said, it's 8.30 in the morning, and this is pretty warm. Before we move on to our final two beaches, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support. Your interaction is what keeps a small channel like this going. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, and subscribe in the bottom right corner. Thank you. Good, thanks. Two. Perfect. You can keep the change. 
Thank you, ma'am. You too. This is Baha'i Honda State Park. As you can see right now, there's a lot of seagrass at Baha'i Honda. Um, last time we were here, did not notice all of this. The, I don't think it was here. So it might just be the time of year. Um, it's a pretty small inconvenience. The water's beautiful here. The, the sand when you're in the water is awesome. And then you can find spots like this to kind of lay your stuff out. The water is quite a bit chillier than it was in Key West. It's still tolerable. Here we are on the golf side of uh, Baha'i State Park. And this area is a little bit better for like swimming for kids and stuff like that. Water seems to be a little bit warmer, not much. Okay, here we are at Founders Park Beach. We're gonna be a little bit undercover because the beach is full and we found our way in anyway. Um, so I'm not gonna go too overboard, but it might be a little hidden gem over here. Um, just look behind me. Otherwise, this is uh, Founders Park. John Pennekamp was at capacity. Um, the other beach we tried to get to was at capacity. Um, so there weren't a lot of people in. But there's a will, there's a way. Kind of told you initially, we kind of snuck in. We're going to pay on our way out. We've already decided we're not going to be able to sleep tonight if we don't. But uh, we were pulling in, somebody else was pulling out, and we just jumped in their spot because, uh, you know, one out, one in. So anyway, this is uh, the park. This was kind of a, a nice little hidden gem, I think, down here. So this is just south of Key Largo, and it's kind of... I don't know, it has more of a local feel to it instead of a tourist feel. But it's kind of really calm, which some kids would like that, some kids wouldn't. Um, otherwise, it's not a bad little spot. Okay, so this is gonna start a compilation that I'm gonna start getting on our trips. It's gonna be called Married first not married. There's a couple over my shoulder here. They were kind of making out right here in the middle of the, <laughs> the beach. Not married. And they're holding hands now. And they're holding hands. Not married. Earlier we saw this couple where they were fighting over rinsing off some sort of boogie boards or something and they got so fed up with each other that the guy was like, I'll just carry a boat. So he carried them. And rest if you need to and he's like I'm not gonna need to rest and she's like fine carry him by yourself 100% married so this is gonna start a new tradition on our trips married versus not married stay tuned I didn't know anybody was in there, so I was just looking for a spot to put it, and then he popped out and scared me to death. 